Good morning. Welcome to day seven. And for our final day, I am going to be looking once again at In Touch Magazine by Charles Stanley. And the devotional was for Monday, June the 21st. And it's called A Faithful Church in an Ungodly World. A church is able to stand firm in Christ when its members walk by faith, not sight, just as our salvation came through belief rather than feelings. Our daily decisions should be made the same way, but this is contrary to the world's approach. Society rewards self-assurance and independence and it relies on what we can see. But scripture reveals the foolishness of depending solely on our circumstances or other people. Instead, our confidence is to be placed in Jesus and we are to rely on him. In fact, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. It says we're not to lean on our own understanding at all. If the church is to remain faithful, we must get daily spiritual nourishment directly from God's word. Through study and application, both individually and corporately, we will learn to be guided by the Lord's wisdom and to let false doctrine and error go in one ear and out the other. The church body that is knitted together in love, unity, and belief in Jesus will be immovable in the world. Does this describe us and our church? Our church, our people, are knitted together in love and unity. We want to remain faithful and stand firm in our faith as we reach out in love to our neighbors. Lord, we are thankful for the leadership you provide for us. Keep us faithful as we keep, lift them to you in prayer and as we journey on with you. In Jesus' name, amen. And to conclude, I'd like to share the church is one foundation. And we'll close with this song. Um, Windsor on the Thames with its royal castle is one of England's most popular tourist attractions. Samuel Stone's ministry was located here, among the poor people at the outskirts of town. Samuel Stone was a fighter. He stood up for what he believed. And if local toughs threatened the neighborhood, he wasn't afraid to take them on. In the Church of England, Stone was regarded as a fundamentalist, opposing the liberal theological tendencies of his day. When he was 27, he wrote a collection of hymns based on the Apostles' Creed. And this hymn, taken from that collection, is based on the article in the Creed regarding the Church as the body of Christ. 
Two years later, Anglicans from around the world met to discuss the crucial theological issues that were raging in the church, and significantly, they chose Stone's hymn as the, as the processional <clears throat> for their historic conference. The church's one foundation is Jesus Christ, her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her, and for her life he died. Elect from every nation, yet one o'er all the earth, her charter of salvation, one Lord, one faith, one birth. One holy name she blesses, partakes one holy food, and to one hope she presses with every grace endued. Mid toil and tribulation and tumult of her war, she waits the consummation of peace forevermore. Till with the vision glorious, her longing eyes are blessed, and the great church victorious shall be the church at rest. Yet she on earth hath union with God the three in one, and mystic sweet communion with those whose rest is one. O oh, happy ones and holy, Lord, give us grace that we, like them, the meek and lowly, on high may dwell with thee. Thank you.